Hey there, it's Pastor T with another Psalmanac, where I hope to help you grow in the practice of prayer through a deepening relationship with the prayer book of the Bible, the Psalms. And this week, this holy week, we are reading, reflecting upon, and praying back to the Lord this wonderful Psalm of the Passion, Psalm 22. And our Learn by Heart Antiphon verse for the week is verse 11. I invite you to follow along in your own Bible at home or to listen as I read. Be not far from me, for trouble is near, and there is none to help. My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? Why are you so far from saving me from the words of my groaning? O oh my God, I cry by day, but you do not answer, and by night, but I find no rest. Yet you are holy, enthroned on the praises of Israel, and you our fathers trusted. They trusted, and you delivered them. To you they cried and were rescued, and you they trusted and were not put to shame. But I am a worm and not a man, scorned by mankind and despised by the people. All who see me mock me. They make mouths at me. They wag their heads. He trusts in the Lord. Let him deliver him. Let him rescue him, for he delights in him. Yet you are he who took me from the womb. You made me trust you at my mother's breasts. On you was I cast from my birth, and from my mother's womb you have been my God. Be not far from me, for trouble is near and there is none to help. Many bulls encompass me, strong bulls of Bashan surround me. They open wide their mouths at me like a ravening and roaring lion. I'm poured out like water, and all my bones are out of joint. My heart is like wax. It is melted within my breast. My strength is dried up like a potsherd, and my tongue sticks to my jaws. You lay me in the dust of death. For dogs encompass me, a company of evildoers encircles me. They pierced my hands and feet. I can count all my bones. They stare and gloat over me. They divide my garments among them, and for my clothing they cast lots. But you, O Lord, do not be far off. O you, my help, come quickly to my aid. Deliver my soul from the sword, my precious life from the power of the dog. Save me from the mouth of the lion. You have rescued me from the horns of the wild oxen. I will tell of your name to my brothers. In the midst of the congregation, I will praise you. You who fear the Lord, praise him. All you offspring of Jacob, glorify him. And stand in awe of him, all you offspring of Israel. For he has not despised or abhorred the affliction of the afflicted. And he has not hidden his face from him, but has heard when he cried to him. From you comes my praise in the great congregation, my vows I will perform before those who fear him. The afflicted shall eat and be satisfied. Those who seek him shall praise the Lord. May your hearts live forever. All the ends of the earth shall remember and turn to the Lord, and all the families of the nations shall worship before you. For kingship belongs to the Lord, and he rules over the nations. All the prosperous of the earth eat and worship. Before him shall bow all who go down to the dust, even the one who could not keep himself alive. Posterity shall serve him. It shall be told of the Lord to the coming generation. They shall come and proclaim his righteousness to a people yet unborn, that he has done it. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Be not far from me, for trouble is near, and there is none to help. When trouble draws near, God draws nearer still. Psalm 22 is this powerful psalm of the passion. The words of the psalm were on the lips of our Lord as he hung from the cross. My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? Psalm 22 leads us into the deepest, darkest place of trouble, where our Savior Jesus was separated and seemingly forsaken from the Father so that you and I would not be forsaken, so that we would never have to drop down into the abyss. Jesus went to that dark and lonely place for you and me, so that we would never, ever be alone. Look, trouble draws near to us all the time in many and various forms. And when we feel that, when we sense it drawing near, it can feel in that lonely place. It can feel as though we are abandoned or forsaken by God. But Christ Jesus went there for you and me. 
so that when trouble draws near, we could have heart knowing that God draws nearer still. He is not afar off. He has heard you and me when we cry out to him, when we call to him, when we say, Lord, we need you now. He hears us for the sake of his son, Jesus. And Psalm 22 even has this wonderful movement and motion toward the end of it as we get this sense of the, of the redemption, of the victory of God. Posterity shall serve him. It shall be told of the Lord to the coming generation. They shall come and proclaim his righteousness to a people yet unborn, that he has done it. He has done it. Those words are echoed in that final proclamation from our Savior on the cross. Tetelestai, it is finished. He has done it. He's gone down into the depths of sin and death for you and me. He has defeated the devil on our behalf. And this week, throughout the week of Holy Week, we pray Psalm 22. We lay this to heart, knowing that Christ Jesus has finished all those threats to the people of God so that whenever trouble draws near, we can be sure and certain that God draws nearer still. Blessings to you in your meditations and your reflections and your prayer and worship. I pray that Psalm 22 would help you and accompany you this week, this holy week, as we look to our crucified and resurrected Lord, knowing that when trouble draws near, he draws near still. Let us pray. Dear Father in heaven, thank you for your faithfulness in sending your son Jesus. And dearest Lord Jesus, thank you for obeying your father even unto death, even death on a cross. Out of love, Lord, you sent your son for us. And in love, dear Lord Jesus, you sacrificed yourself on our behalf. And in love, O Holy Spirit, you empowered and enabled our Lord Jesus to carry through that divine mission. This week, Lord, keep our eyes and hearts fixed on you, knowing that in the midst of our troubles, you draw near to us in your son, Jesus. In his name we pray. Amen. And now may you go forth on this holy week with pious and reverent meditation and reflection on the Lord who has conquered for you in the midst of your troubles. Go in his peace. Amen.